Hi everyone, I'm Chong from Buffin Work team, and uh, today I'm going to show two new demos for how to integrate bot to SharePoint. Uh, these samples are built by Microsoft Buffin Work team and uh, Stephen, who is an MVP. And uh, before I start, as you are uh, all very familiar with SharePoint related technology, I'd like to introduce a little bit about uh, Buffin Work. The Buffin Work is a Microsoft uh, framework for building enterprise-grade conversational AI experience. Uh, you can check this website for more information. And uh, you can easily build a bot with the bot framework tool. If you want to add a bot like a Q&A bot to your SharePoint site, you can reference the sample edit here, um, this too, and uh, one for better security consideration and the one for uh, single sign-on. And uh, the reason why we are doing this, the first consideration is when Microsoft and the bot in SharePoint sites are growing more and more popular. Uh, the SharePoint and Buffin work are both Microsoft production. We will make sure they are easy to work together and well to use. Currently, we have some community samples about how to integrate bot to SharePoint by Stefan and some other people, but they have some pain points like a lack of security consideration and no sample for a single sign-on. Mm. So based on this situation, we will provide uh, one simple sample uh, with basic security consideration and one complex sample with single sign-on feature to improve the user experience on Authentication. We will target on two popular components in SharePoint, the web chart and the, the extension. Let me demo the first sample with security consideration. This site is a uh, Contoso SharePoint site because uh, we, we will need admin uh, privilege uh, for the single sign-on. So, uh, I create a test account uh, from Contoso. Uh, you can also do this if you want to test with admin privilege. Um, and uh, uh, here, if I edit this page, and uh, uh, you can find uh, this one. Uh, this is a new web uh, part with uh, security. And uh, you can put the bot endpoint uh, here. Saved. Okay. Um, okay, you can see the bot uh, has been connected. So let me talk uh, on something uh, behind that sample. The first stuff we add for integrate the bot to SharePoint site, uh, we we need to use WebChat, which is a highly customizable web-based client for bot. To use WebChat, uh, uh, we need to provide a secret to connect to direct line channel. Uh, you can find that settings here in your uh, bot registration uh, in Azure. Uh, it shows in channels here, and you can see the secret keys. Uh, it is uh, admin keys which means you can use this key to connect to any conversation you like. And uh, if you want to make uh, your bot work easily, uh, you can add uh, the, uh, the direct line secret in your client uh, and make it work quickly, uh, but it's, it is not secured. So actually, uh, we should put the uh, secret to uh, another service like bot service and uh, use user ID to retrieve a user token uh, from direct line and use that token uh, to continue the conversation, which will be uh, more secure. And uh, the second part is the um, temper-proofed user. We need to enable uh, this feature to ensure that all sports uh, should be in the same box as a bot. For example, an attacker start a conversation with a bot to get a sign-in link. The attacker sends the sign-in link to someone else and tell him or her to click the link. 
when the person does, he or she uh, will be asked to sign in to the conversation, but the conversation is actually the attacker's conversation. To prevent this, we will need to enable this feature. Mm, this is uh, this can be very simple uh, to just uh, enable this option in our channel setting. Mm, so uh, do remember to uh, set it up when you uh, set your bot in SharePoint. And uh, let's go through some highlighted code for this uh, feature. The, for example, we go to the uh, web part sample. And first, we will go to the web part uh, code. And uh, here, uh, you can see this is a web chat component, which is a React uh, component. Mm, and uh, here you can see, you can get the user login uh, name and uh, send it to the bot to get a, a direct line token. Uh, this should be uh, encrypted by MD5 or some other uh, encrypt algorithm, uh, because if the uh, user name is guessable, it is easy for attackers to get other users uh, direct line token uh, by uh, the guest name and uh, the re uh, request to bot service. Mm, so do uh, please do remember to encrypt that. And uh, for the uh, token retrieve, you can see it uh, sent to the uh, bot uh, to retrieve your token. Uh, and uh, you can check the code here. Here is a bot code and uh, here is the uh, bot service and uh, it uh, used the uh, stored direct line secret and the user ID to retrieve a user token from a direct line and uh, get it back to the web, web part. And uh, here it is. And uh, with the token, we will now set up the direct line component and continue the conversation with the bot uh, now. Uh, let's move to another demo, which is a single sign-on demo. As we are already logged into SharePoint site, it is uh, hard to uh, log in again in our bot. Uh, for example, if we uh, try to log in with a, a simple bot, uh, and uh, it will prompt you again with the authentication uh, OAuth card, which is uh, not that friendly. So we will try our new SSO web part uh, here and uh, also do the similar thing. Copy the bot endpoint. And uh, okay, and uh, refresh. Yeah, uh, now the bot is uh, connected. And uh, if you try to log in uh, again, and, and uh, you will find uh, a toast is prompted out. Uh, if you click yes, and it will use your uh, SharePoint uh, uh, user account to log into bot, so you can see it's uh, much easier for user. And uh, uh, if user uh, don't like uh, this way, it can also fall back to uh, the traditional way, for example. And uh, press no, and uh, here is the traditional way. You can see uh, this one uh, takes uh, more time and uh, more complex for user to use. Now it can work too. Uh, and uh, this is a web part sample and uh, you can see similar stuff in extension. Uh, so you can add this uh, small uh, bot icons to uh, replace this one. It's, uh, it's also convenient too. And uh, the main concept of single sign-on is uh, show as below. 
uh, when user log in to parent website and uh, it's uh, get an uh, auth uh, trigger activity, it will uh, send to bot and the bot will return an auth card. Uh, but instead of show the auth card, the web chat will will get the this message and ask the parent website for an exchangeable token. And uh, when it gets the token, it will send the token to the bot, and uh, the bot will exchange the token to AzureBot service. And if it is successful, the bot will be authenticated, and uh, no cards will be shown anymore. And if it's failed, the uh, card will be prompted again. Uh, and uh, uh, the API we use to get the exchangeable token is the AD token provider. And uh, here is the sample structure. Uh, it's used to toast here for the single sign-on and the traditional. Uh, and uh, yeah, after it's got, got a token, it just uh, give it to direct line, and uh, it can communicate with the bot. And uh, uh, you can check the sample readme. Uh, for the whole settings, you can see it's very long list. Uh, it's kind of complex, um, but the key part is uh, we need to expose an API in uh, our AD uh, here um, and add a customer uh, scope and uh, also add a auth authorized client application, which is our SharePoint uh, principle here. And after we do that, we will put our app name and scope name here and uh, approve the uh, API access in our admin center. After we've done this, we will get the token from SharePoint site. And uh, let's also check uh, the code for some highlighted part. And uh, here, yes, this is a single sign-on uh, sample. And the uh, and uh, we also start from this one. Uh, and uh, you see, we, uh, we also use the web chart with React component. And uh, we add additional two parts, which is host middleware and a store. Uh, a store, uh, uh, this, this too is the web chart API uh, to help us support this scenario. Uh, the store is used to get the OS the activity uh, and uh, try to get uh, the exchangeable token from SharePoint side. And when it gets the OAuth uh, activity, it will change it to a, a notification named uh, sign-in. And uh, when the sign-in uh, notification has been captured by the Toast middleware, it will go to the bot sign Toast. Uh, we can check it here. Mm. And uh, when you click the Agree, uh, button, it will um, get token from a D provider. And with that token, we will generate a new activity uh, to bot with this exchangeable token. And then we will wait for the bot's response uh, to tell us whether it is success or fail. And uh, if it's failed, it will go to the, it will fall back to traditional bot authentication, which we can check it here, and it will perform the card action to show the card again. And here is the, basically the highlighted part of the code. And the, the additional information uh, you may be interested in is uh, if you need a admin account and you don't have one, you can have a test account here. And uh, the first time user try single sign-on, uh, user should be presented with an auth card to log in. This is because the user have not yet gave the consent to the bus AAD app. You can use uh, the main consent uh, to prevent that um, if you don't like that. And also there is a SDK bug, which is JS only, that the first time auth card uh, cannot show correctly. And if you meet this problem, you can try the traditional login first. This only have to be uh, to done it once. So uh, yeah, we may uh, need some time to wait for it get fixed. 
that's all my demo. Uh, do you have any questions or yeah? Queen uh, Vesa here. Uh, any chance okay. we can go back on the PowerPoint? Uh, on the sorry, on the on the SharePoint site. Uh, there was a good okay. question. From Alexei related on the hovering bot on the left side because I know that you implemented that as well. The web part is a one thing, but then yeah. there's that this one. Yes. Okay. Can you can you explain what it is and how is it working? Because I, I think that's really cool as well. Because in the same way as we can implement web parts, we can do it in here as well. Uh, yes, this is a SharePoint extension. Yeah. Uh, you can you can see. Uh, it's a, in another repo, which is a extension repo. <laughs> Sorry for putting you on a spot, but yep, yeah, you can easily find it. Yeah. Uh, and if you are interested, you can find uh, it here. Uh, this one, uh, the SSO one. Uh, and uh, for the code, uh, it's um, kind of similar. Uh, the highlight part is uh, kind of similar, and uh, it, it's leverage the extension uh, framework to help build the little bot icon. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, for uh, the code is basically like this. So, is there uh, any specific uh, functions to about yeah, this? I, I think it was more a question. Can you uh, can you sorry, Quan? Um, there's the uh -huh. bot framework chat pop up application customizer. So one folder up, um, one folder up from and the DS uh, one folder still up. Uh -huh. We have the two files. We have the JSON file and then the TypeScript file. The uh, bot framework chat pop up application customizer. Five files down or six files down. Da, 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 da. We are still more down, more down, 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 down. Still more down. Still more that one more. That one. So this just to kind of a pinpoint. Sorry, sorry, sorry for guiding you in here. Just uh -huh. to kind of a big point in here that this is a application customizer for SharePoint framework, and then mm -hmm. it's using I think it's using absolute positioning that it's actually putting the 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 oh, yeah. uh, image hovering on the page, and then when you click a hover, you basically render the React component. Is that correct? Mm, yeah. All good. So, so it's just clarifying how it's implemented uh, because there's SharePoint developers on, on the chat and window. Can we go one more time on the browser and just show how it's actually presented in a browser? Because I think that's that's really cool. Obviously, the web part is, is really cool. Technically, the bot implementation is exactly the same in both sites. Uh -huh. uh, but taking advantage of the application customizer, we can then position a bot, for example, in this way on the lower left corner or yeah. let's say lower right corner, and then we're going to click it to see it. Yeah. yeah, I like this way better than this way. Yeah. <laughs> yes, in indeed. And, and maybe who knows, uh, because I'm from SharePoint engineering, who knows, maybe at some point we'll have a native way of exposing bots in the SharePoint site. But right now that's not in the short term uh, pipeline or roadmap. Okay. And so this would be a way of getting then the, the corporate bots exposed in a portal. So really cool implementation. Absolutely. Yeah, thank you. But so that was a great demo. Uh, thank you. Really excited to see the bot stuff. The bot stuff continues to grow and expand, and uh, some of the use cases people find for that are really, really interesting, uh, really fascinating stuff. So uh, great area, and if you're not looking at bots uh, as part of your solutions, uh, as appropriate, uh, they could be a great part of your solutions.